Hi, I'm Lucy, and in this video, we're going to look at how to find the equation of the straight line that passes through two points. You should already know how to find the gradient and all about the y equals mx plus c equation, but if you've forgotten, watch these two videos first. So we want to find the equation of the line that passes through these two points. So we start by finding the gradient of the line. We have our standard gradient equals rise over run or change in y over change in x equations. Or there is another really simple equation we can use, y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 which is just the difference between y values divided by the difference between the x values. Choose one of the set of coordinates to be the ones and the other coordinates to be the twos. I'm going to make the four three my ones and the seven nine my twos. So then the gradient is just nine minus three divided by 7 minus 4, which gives us 6 divided by 3, so the gradient is 2. Or you could just stick to the rise divided by the run, 6 divided by 3 is 2. So now using the y equals mx plus c format, we already know the gradient m is 2 and we just need to find the y-intercept. We could just look back at the graph and see that the y-intercept is negative 5. So the equation would be y equals 2x minus 5. But you won't always have the graph. The question could look like this. So let's have a look to see how we'd find the y-intercept with this question. So we know our gradient is 2, and with our y equals mx plus c equation, we have y equals 2x plus c. To find the missing y-intercept c value, use one of the sets of coordinates that was given to us in the question. So 4, 3 or 7, 9. I'm going to use 4, 3. So when x is 4, y is 3. And just substitute these values into our equation, y equals 2x plus c. So instead of y, we have 3. And instead of x, we have 4. So now we have 3 equals 2 multiplied by 4 plus c. So 3 equals 8 plus c. Rearrange by subtracting 8 from both sides and we get c equals negative 5. So the gradient m was 2. The y-intercept is negative 5. So our equation is y equals 2x minus 5. So there really wasn't much more to learn. Just that nice simple gradient equation y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. It doesn't really matter which set of coordinates you make your twos and which ones you make your ones. They both work. In part two, we're going to look at another example for you to do yourself. There won't be a graph involved, so you've got to use all the equations.